Today in St. Catharines, a demonstration is being given showing the process by which the city plans to update their streetlights with eco-friendly, cost-saving LEDs. It's, uh, it's something that I think will benefit the city in the long term as far as reduced energy savings and, uh, and improved lighting. What can you tell us about the specific process that's going on here today? Uh, the process itself is just, uh, we're just looking at replacing the existing high pressure sodium, uh, what we call cobra head uh, light fixtures. Uh, we've, uh, we had a, a business uh, case that was presented to council earlier in the year. Uh, we put together an RFP which was uh, awarded to, uh, to Enersource to replace approximately uh, 14,000 of these uh, cobra head high pressure sodium light fixtures throughout the city. And uh, this process today is just sort of a demonstration of, of what the actual replacement looks like. So this is the sort of kickoff for that project of replacing 14,000 lights? That's correct, yes. In the long run, what sort of impact on energy usage for the city does this have? Uh, we're looking, uh, once all of the LED conversion is completed, we're looking at savings uh, or cost avoidance, I should say, in, in and around the $700,000 uh, range on an, on an annual basis. Um, when we did our analysis for uh, the cost uh, benefit of it, our, our rate of return, if you will, was about uh, six years. Enersource will be taking on the four-year project, which includes installing the new units and properly disposing of the old ones. So the, uh, the LED fixture is uh, a 20-year fixture as compared to the high-pressure sodium, which would have needed to be relamped probably every five years. Um, the, the big savings for this fixture is through energy consumption and the fact that the uh, fixture uses probably a little less than 50% of the uh, electricity at, that uh, the uh, high pressure sodiums were replacing uh, used. So uh, a very significant savings for the, uh, for the city and for operating their street light system. It won't just be the energy savings that residents will notice. Again, we believe it's a better uh, color rendition for uh, for residents. It's a it's a whiter light. It's a little bit easier to uh, to, to see uh, to see colors. Uh, the other big aspect uh, is the the cutoff of the fixtures. Right now, <clears throat> excuse me, with the high pressure sodium, sometimes we get spillover lighting onto people's yards or into people's uh, you know bedroom windows and things like that because because of the nature of the light, it, it tends to, to spill over a bit more. Uh, with these LED fixtures, there's a much more defined cutoff for them. So the, uh, you're basically just lighting the road air as opposed to lighting people's uh, front yard. There is some things that we could uh, use some help with. And obviously, uh, if the residents are concerned about when we're going to be there, the city has provided a, uh, a schedule, and I believe that they're going to put that out um, on their web page. So we will be in those areas, and when the, uh, the residents see us, uh, you know, if they could leave their cars parked on the other side of the road or uh, out from underneath poles that uh, we're going to be uh, working on, that would be really good, uh, very helpful. If you're wondering when your lights are being replaced, be sure to check out the city's website. From St. Catharines Reporting for The Source, I'm Mitchell Glass.